Hello everyone and we're going to be talking about the upcoming se multi-day severe weather outbreak but before we could get into this video I would ask you to subscribe if you are new to the channel and make sure to share this video with any friends and family that might be interested in watching daily weather forecasts but anyways let's get right into this video. So right now we are looking at the storm prediction center outlook for tomorrow. This is pretty much a severe weather outlook and they have issued so far an enhanced risk for severe weather within the orange highlighted area. Now you will definitely see some pretty um, intense severe weather in that area. So definitely um, be, prepared, be prepared for this as this could be pretty dangerous, especially with the hail threat. Uh, there's just so much energy also, in the, within the yellow risk, that is a slight risk of severe weather. So, you do still have a pretty good risk of that severe weather. So, still be prepared. And lastly, that is that moderate risk of severe weather, which is in the dark green color. That's where you do have an isolated severe storm risk. But you do not really have that much of a uh, super severe thunderstorm risk there. And then you do have your general thunderstorm risk area, which you are, you are not expecting any severe storms to develop within the area. But you could certainly see uh, some isolated severe storms uh, in some places, but not within that general thunderstorm risk area, which is light green. Now, here's a tornado risk, which is pretty interesting. They have issued a 5% risk. Uh, there's some pockets of shear within there. Uh, there's not a huge tornado risk with this one, um, but definitely you do still have, you could definitely see a couple tornado warnings uh, tomorrow. And so this pretty much that's that five percent risk of tornadoes. Um, you can definitely see up to EF two tornadoes within that. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on that. Um, and then that two percent risk of tornadoes within the green shaded area there also. Um, uh, but here's the hail risk, and definitely the hail risk, like I said, is very high with that thirty percent chance and a significant chance. Two plus inch size hail within this area here uh, for parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and even South Dakota. You do have a pretty big hail risk, uh, so definitely put your car under something uh, so it doesn't get damaged by hail. Uh, but this is definitely going to be some big hail within these storms here. Also, within the yellow shaded area, you do have up to around golf ball size hail and up to quarter size hail that is within the green shaded area there. Here's the wind risk, finally, and definitely um, there is a pretty big wind risk also with 30% chance. There's not a significant chance, but you can definitely see up to 80 miles per hour gusts within that red shaded area there. And here's that yellow shaded area up to around 60 mile per hour gusts within that yellow shaded area and up to around 40 mile per hour gusts within the storms and the green shaded area there also. And we're also going to have to watch out for... Pretty much the whole 10 days of early May, I mean early June, as tomorrow you do have that slight risk of severe weather, we're also keeping an eye on tomorrow, and also uh, day 4, which is j uh, June 4th to 5th, you could also see some pretty good severe weather, and day 5, they have yet to issue another risk for there. Um, so now we can look at the future simulated radar for this severe weather for tomorrow. All right, so we're looking at around midday of tomorrow. Uh, you do have some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms already moving throughout the region, uh, but this is not going to be the main threat. Over mainly, it's going to be in the southeastern part of uh, North Dakota. Uh, you do have some I isolated showers and thunderstorms uh, moving through. You get it to around 2 p.m. and around 1 p.m. And you already have a cell developing, and that'll be in the oh, extreme western part of Minnesota. That'll be also heading eastward. And mostly all these cells are going to develop around the uh, uh, 2 or 3 p.m. time frame. Within this type of area, of the South Dakota and Minnesota uh, border, and this will also be moving southeast. Some uh, will, if they do turn into uh, kind of a, uh, if supercells do develop ahead of this, you can definitely see a couple tornado warnings uh, come out of that, uh, but definitely that'll be mostly cluster storms moving through, and there's some uh, supercells developing uh, behind this, so that could be um, igniting that tornado potential, and then you get into around uh, 
We're at midnight, and still, those cluster storms now moving into Michigan. That's how fast they moved uh, through Wisconsin. And you even have more storms developing around uh, 2 a.m. or around midnight, too, around uh, the northern Iowa area. Also moving into the Midwest by the time they get to around northern Illinois, they will be disintegrated. But that, yeah, that's pretty much the setup for tomorrow. Um, here's the uh, supercell composite, uh, and the, you're de there's definitely a risk for those supercells to develop um, uh, within this type of Michigan area. Uh, so you definitely could see some supercells, and definitely a pretty good tornado risk for tomorrow. Here's the uh, significant tornado threat, and there's not really a, much of a significant tornado threat uh, with this one. But definitely you could see um, a couple of tornado warnings. Uh, with these storms here. If you did enjoy this video, I would ask you to subscribe if you are new to the channel and make sure to share this video with any friends or family might be interested in watching Daily With Forecast. But anyways, stay safe.